Hi, it's Miss Genoa here from San Francisco Ballet's Dance in Schools and Communities program. You know, when I was thinking about light and sound, I was thinking about electricity, which brought to mind Edith Clark. She was super cool. She lived from 1883 to 1959. She was the very first female to ever be employed as an electrical engineer in the United States. She was the first female professor of electrical engineering in the country. And she overcame a hardship when she became an orphan at 12 years old to go on to study and contribute great mathematical things to the science of circuits. So today we're going to learn about circuits and figure out how they relate to our bodies. You may have seen this snap circuit toy. This is an example of an electrical circuit. It takes the energy in this power source, in this case the battery, and moves the electrical charge along this conductive pathway and it gets the electricity to the source or the thing that we're trying to light up or uh, get sound to. Let's see what kind of power our bodies can provide, like this battery. What kind of power is me? What kind of power can our body give? It can give strong energies. It can give light energies. What about sharp movements? Sharp movements or smooth movements? Yes. Now, our energy moves along a pathway. Can you make a pathway in your body? Can you send electricity from your arm to the other arm? Try from your head to your toe. Can you send electricity from high to low? Could you send electricity in a circle? Or maybe you can send electricity in a curvy pathway all around the room. In an electrical circuit, if there's a break in the conductive pathway, the power can't get to the load. Let's play around with closed and open with our bodies, just like a closed or a broken circuit. Let's try making a closed circuit with our body. Close and open. Scout, try this with me. You can do a different body part even. Close and open. You could do close small and open. And you could do close with another person and open. Now let's try doing when we have a closed circuit, we move around. And then when we have an open circuit, we freeze. Try it again. Closed, move, 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 and open, freeze. Maybe we do a vibrating energy when it's closed and open, freeze. Let's try closing different body parts together. Close, and we're moving, and freeze. Now try it with a partner. Come here. Okay. Can we make a closed circuit and move around? And open and freeze. Let's try closed. <laughs> move around. <laughs> open and freeze. <laughs> that was pretty fun. One more time. Closed. Move around and freeze. So today we learned that we can use our body and movement to help us remember three important components of an electrical circuit. First, we have the power source, right? Like a battery or an electrical outlet. And that's like the energy in our bodies, strong, light, sharp. We also have the conductive pathway, like the wires in an electrical circuit or the pathways in our bodies. We also have the load, the thing that needs the energy, like a light bulb. And we played around with open and closed circuits that stop and start the electrical power. So we learned today that we can be creative. 
We can create art and ideas about meaningful topics, even science and electrical circuits. Enjoy the rest of the show!